Welcome to a video from thedigitallifestyle.com. This video we're going to look at how to create a home group and connect another PC to it so you can have simple network sharing on Windows 10 devices. This is actually from my new book, uh, Entertainment Apps on the Go with Windows 10, available on Amazon and other places. It goes into more detail, plus it covers media apps like and media servers and video playback, music playback, that kind of thing. So for this video I'm going to use my little uh, Encore 8 tablet here and turn uh, to our surface. So, um, and home group, the idea of home group is it's a simple way of setting up network shares between computers on your home network and that doesn't involve setting up servers and file permissions and that kind of thing. It's nice and simple. If you go through file explorer, so when you're on your network, if you open up file explorer, uh, you can do that in Windows 10, file explorer, you'll see there's a home group link down at the bottom here. If you don't have the link, uh, it's because you're not on what's called a private network. And I have um, an article on the digitallifestyle.com showing you how to do that, and I'll include a link with this YouTube video. So, there's our home group. We're on a private network, so everything is our, on our home network, and we get this group there, create a home group. Now, if you see one that says join, it means someone's already created one on your home network, and you need to know the password to join it. So, on my surface here, this is one I prepared earlier, and this one has a join button, and that's because it's uh, there's been one already created. Right, on this one there hasn't, so I go create home group. So, there's a little wizard, and the wizard takes you through it all. So this is a way of sharing all videos, music, pictures, and documents, if you want, as well, between devices. So, here's the dialog box where you can choose what you want to share. So, um, I've got pictures, video, music, and printers and devices shared, but not documents. You can change that. You've got shared or not shared. So, if you decide that the videos you've got on this machine you don't want shared, change that to not shared. Or if you want the documents in, you can change that to shared. It's up to you. It gives you that flexibility. Okay, so that's the first step. It now goes through and sets the permissions. And it's uh, randomised a password there. So that is the password you need when you come to another machine on your home network and ask for the home group password. You can change this. I'll show you that in a sec. But that's all we need to do for now. So we click finish and that's done. If you want to change the password, something a bit more uh, meaningful or easy to remember, you can go to that change setting there and um, there is the link to change the password. So I'm going to change the password and I'll call this testing. Testing. Okay. Uh, oh, you need some numbers on there as well, so let's click testing one, two, three. I suggest you go for something a bit more secure than that. And that's changed that password. So we now know it's testing one, two, three. So I can go finish. Okay, so also in this home group setting, here's where you can change what's being shared. Um, it also enables things like DLNA, uh, music streaming, playback, but that's uh, more of that on another video. And the other options you've got is that you can leave the home group and, uh, like I said, you can change the password. So I'm going to leave that as it is for now. Now, how do we join the, the uh, home group? So here's my other device, and I can go to home group. And you see I've got a join button. So I click on join now. Now I want to go through the wizard. Choose what I want to share. This is exactly the same as you saw before. I can choose what I want to share from this device, the other device on the network. Type in the password. Just name one, two, three. Okay, so that's finishing off the configuration. Let's join that now. Okay, so how do we see these things? So if we go down here through home group to the file explorer, you'll see home group. You'll see my username. And now you can see um, Surface Pro 3, so that's this machine, all the folders that are shared. And there Encore 8, which is the original machine I had set up and all the content. So I could go into the, um, I don't, there's a bit of content on here, music folder on here and you can see the Encore 8 music folder there's actually two uh, music folders on the Encore 8 and I can then 
play one of those tracks if I want to. So you can see now how this easily sharing, I have not had to set file permissions up or anything else. So the good thing is on that it means that um, say on the music app or the film and TVs app it's very easy to add the folder of that server to where you want to look. So let's choose where to look for videos, let's add a folder and um, I can go to home group and you see I can see the Encore 8 one I can do videos add this video I've already got that one selected but let's just say that one okay so you can see I've, it's very easy now I don't have to set up network shares or permissions or anything like that all the content on the home group is enabled to me through my login. They're both using the same login, it doesn't actually matter, you don't have to, you'll see the different users show up on there. Um, you don't have to have the same user account on either one, you have to have the same Windows login or anything like that, it just shows up there. So you'd see if Bob was on the other machine, it'd say Index and it'd say Bob on there. So it doesn't really matter. But So that's a really quick way of setting up networking between the two devices. Well, like I said, you can. There are a lot of settings in Home Group as well, where you can go um, into more advanced details, like adding extra folders or things like that. But that's the basics. And like I said, that's all covered in uh, my Windows 10 book, Entertainment Apps on the Go, Windows 10, plus a lot more detail as well on other topics around media and uh, apps for Windows 10. More on our YouTube channel on the DigitalLifestyle.com and on my Twitter at isdixon.